I believe they taught us multiplication wrong. For instance, there's the zero power rule. Any non-zero number to the zero power equals one. Zero to any positive exponent equals zero. As we know, squaring or powering is the same as multiplication. They teach us any number multiplied by zero is always going to be zero. But according to the zero power rule, that's not true. So the reason that any number to the zero power is one is because any number to the zero power is just the product of no numbers at all, which is the multiplicative identity one. Multiplication by definition is the repeated addition of groups of equal sizes. So they tell us five times zero would be zero. I believe it would be five. Because by definition, multiplication is just the repeated addition of groups of equal sizes. For instance, with the way they taught math, this single group of bananas will be five times one. But by definition, that's wrong because this is a single group by itself. I'm not adding it into another group. Remember, it means the repeated addition of groups of equal sizes. So I started off with five. I don't have another group of five to add it into. So that's five times zero. My group of five that I started off with does not just deteriorate and turn into zero because I'm multiplying it by zero. Terrence Howard was attempting to fix this math by proving that one times one actually equals two because you can't have two groups of ones and end up with the same one that you started off with. It just don't make sense. So with the correct math, one times zero should be one. One times one should be two. One times two should be three and etc.